in room 28 want tea and biscuits. Can you see to it, please? I think you and I should go and look for that envelope in the office, Liana. There's a whole filing cabinet to set through there. Good idea, Sue. Mm, I know. But what about... Oh, look at all this mess. What a state we're in, sweet. Take these to the office and file them away properly, will you, sweet? Uh, uh, <laughs> I've got to say, try and keep the place tidy. No wonder we never get anybody posh day here. Ah, oh, Sooty, glad you're back. How are those tea and biscuits coming along? <laughs> We've completely run out of biscuits. Yes, you're right, that is the third time this week. Well, you were going down to the supermarket this morning, weren't you? Well, I think you'd better take Scampi and the camper van, buy as many tins of biscuits as you can lay your hands on. <laughs> Sixteen packets of fig rolls and a dozen packets of digestives gone missing. I think we've got a burglar of our own to find. The state we're letting this place get into is criminal. Criminal! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Do hope there are none here. I did want to book a room. My car. Lady Farnsbarns? Did you say Lady Farnsbarns? Not THE Lady Farnsbarns of Farnsbarns Hall? No, not that one. Oh, so are you an aristocrat? Sweet. Come back, what are you doing? You don't like cats? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't say cat. I said she was an aristocrat. That means someone posh, like a lord or a lady. <clears throat> yes, you'd be most welcome to stay here, Lady Farnsworth, if you could just fill in our visitor's book. Mm. Sweet, could you get to the office? That meeting will be starting any minute now. <clears throat> May I say, what an honour it is to have a person of your status. <clears throat> Oh, oh uh, Sooty, this is a uh, Lady Farnsbarns. Yes, you are supposed to be impressed. My family goes back 300 years. 
She doesn't look that old. Look, I can always go and stay somewhere else. No, 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 no. I'm sure you'll find everything to your satisfaction here. <laughs> Sooty, if you and Scampy could just go and get the camper van unloaded, please. <clears throat> and will her ladyship be requiring a cooked breakfast yeah. tomorrow morning? Mm. Just kippers, bacon, eggs, tomatoes, beans, toast, kedri, oh, and muffins. I'm on a diet. Well, I hope you find this criminal's picture soon. It's <coughs> chaos in here. Hey. What? That pile of paper moves. <coughs> oh, Campy, it's you. Good. You're just in time for the meeting. Now, where's Sooty? Huh? Just putting the last of the biscuits away. Good. We'll be here in a minute, then. Right? I'll start. I expect you wonder why I've called you all here. Why are you wearing that silly hat? I'm wearing this silly hat suit because I've always fancied myself as a bit of a detective. And it's time now for me to use my incredible detective-like powers. There is, amongst us, a biscuit thief. And I reckon I know who he is. What's more? He's in this very room. I'll mention no names. Just follow the direction of my accusing sweet Richard. You haven't got any proof. That's true, Richard. He probably didn't do it. I have got proof. He's a dog after all. And everybody knows that dogs like biscuits more than anything else. That's true, Richard. He probably did do it. Yeah, and he has been looking a bit on the tubby side lately. That's true, Richard. He does. He <coughs> just big bones. <coughs> yes. He just likes big bones, you mean. <coughs> and biscuits. Come on, sweet. Be honest. You only took one or two. Then how come we keep running out? Because you only took one or two packets. Look, Sweep, all I'm saying is that if this biscuit pilfering stops, no more needs to be said, OK? Now, you've got lunch to be seeing to, and the rest of you better carry on clearing this lot up. Hello, Sweep. You promise you won't take any more biscuits? Well, if you promise, I believe you. Oh. You want a word with me, do you, Sooty? Well, hang on a minute. Sweep, I think you should get to the kitchen. No, but if you aren't going to the cupboard to steal the biscuits, I can trust you in the kitchen to make the lunch, can't I? Off you go. <laughs> now, what do you want, Sooty? Someone's been taking the biscuits again. Yes, I know. It... Lady Farnsbarns did it. Lady Farnsbarns did what? Am I being accused of something? No! Uh, uh, no, I don't think you should, Sooty. Oh, he wants to whisper to you, Lady Farnsbarns. How oh, does he? <laughs> what? You saw me stealing the biscuits. <laughs> That's a lie. How dare you? Wrongly accused Sweep was trying to concentrate on making lunch, but he had so much on his mind. Then Sweep spotted something. You see, what sometimes happens is that Sooty has an overactive imagination. <laughs> yes, you do, Sooty. Look, is this bear still accusing me? Because if he is, well... I could make some serious trouble for this hotel. Lord Farnsbarns has his own army, you know, and I am a black belt. Oh, no, Sooty isn't accusing you of anything, Lady Farnsbarns. In fact, he's going to apologise to you right now while I go and see how Sweep's doing in the kitchen. Aren't you, Sooty? Listen to me, you fine little yellow creature. 
Oh, yeah, no, I took the biscuit tins and I know I took the biscuit tins. But there's no way anyone else will know. No one will believe you because I'm a big lady for this And you, you're just a very, very small bear. <laughs> so there. <laughs> I've just found you holding a packet of biscuits. And look, the cupboard is empty. All the biscuit tins that Sooty and Scampy bought this morning have gone. <laughs> you didn't take them. I think you should stop telling Fib Sweep. And if those biscuit tins aren't back in the cupboard by this afternoon, there really will be trouble. <laughs> what is it now, Sooty? Lady Farns Barnes has just admitted taking the biscuits. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've had enough of this. I'm ashamed of the pair of you. Now, Sweep, I think you'd better go somewhere else. You obviously can't be trusted in the kitchen. And Sooty, you can stop making these wild accusations. Lady Farns Barnes, indeed. <laughs> Is up here. What are you two doing? You think there's something fishy about Lady Farns Barnes? So you're going to clear Sweep's name by going undercover? Well, what does that mean? And what is all this stuff anyway? Hey, that's me! Have you got a TV camera around here somewhere? In the hat! Yes, it is very clever. OK, I'll put the hat on you. So, uh, you're going to secretly film the real thief in the act, are you? And if Lady Farns Barnes catches you, she'll just think you're wearing an ordinary, ridiculously oversized green novelty hat with a satellite dish on the top. How clever. Of course, it might need to be a bit lighter. Hello, Sweep. It's lovely and tidy in reception now, isn't it? You suppose so? doing and why are you such a misery guts? <laughs> You're writing a letter? Yes, I can see that, but who's it to? <laughs> it's to Richard? Well, that's silly. If there's anything you want to say to Richard, you can just tell him. <laughs> oh, I wonder where Lady Farns Barnes's castle is. All grand people have a castle <gasps> or a palace. <gasps> It'll be in the visitor's book. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, here it is. Lady Farns Barnes, Strangeways Palace, Manchester. <gasps> oh, that sounds ever so grand. I bet she knows the Queen really well. <laughs> goodbye forever, yes, goodbye forever to you too, sweet. Wow, a real life palace. <gasps> I wonder if you'll come and invite us to stay. Maybe we'll get to meet the Queen. <gasps> oh, oh. I think he must have fallen over, Scampy, but he should be reaching the stairs any moment. He'll be in the kitchen any minute now. Lady Farns Barnes gone. <gasps> oh, she was behind him. Oh no, she's caught him. <laughs> gotcha. The old camera in the act trick. Did you honestly think I would fall for that one? You're even more stupid than you look. What? I'm not so clever looking myself. <gasps> How dare you? What am I going to do now? I. Emmed it now, Devere, but not before I've got you into a lot of trouble. And you can forget your hat. Oh, poor old 
old sweep. He's feeling very sad. <laughs> I think I stole the biscuits. <laughs> I have no home. <laughs> Things just couldn't get worse. So insulted in my life. Oh, please don't leave, Lady oh. Farnsworth. We really are most terribly sorry. Imagine spying on your own guests. I demand that you dismiss that yellow bear immediately. But I can't. It's his hotel. Oh. Look, I'm sure Sooty didn't mean any harm. Huh? Yes, you did. You're not exactly helping matters, Sooty. Uh, 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 oh, no, suppose we let you stay for free. No. Uh, no, I know. We pay you to stay. No. Um, no, we pay you to stay and we throw in free pop. You can throw yourself in the lake for all I care with your furry friend. He didn't mean to insult you, Lady Barnes Barnes. No. Oh. I, I mean, I mean, Fady Lance Barnes. Uh, oh. Spying on the guests. Hotel. Oh, my foot. It's more like oh. you've been. Paid. Listen to that. Silly Sooty. No, we'll never get invited to Lady Farns Barnes's palace. Ah, found it! Oh. The envelope the police sent us a few days ago. It's got a photo of Fingers Go Lightly, you know, the escaped criminal. Oh, my goodness. It can't be. It is. I must be leaving. I've such a long journey to my country seat. But as we've agreed, my stay here will be completely free of charge. I'll say no more. Oh, that's very good of you, Your Ladyship. Oh. I can't tell you how grateful we are. Take my luggage to the car. Of course. Hey! Richard, stop! She's fingers go lightly. What? Escape jewel thief. Look, Sooty. I don't believe this. Am I to stand here and be accused of something else? Of course not, Lady Farnsbonds. This lot have been going criminal mad lately. Now just stop it. I'm the only one here that's good at being a detective. But, Richard... No buts. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to take this suitcase to Lady Barnes Barnes... <laughs> Biscuitins! So you did steal the biscuits, so he was right! And I thought it was sweep! Look, Richard! Jewelry from the jewelry shop robbery! Hidden in the biscuit tins from the supermarket! But who opened the catches on me case? Sooty, call the police! Oh, where are you, sweep? Well, Sooty wants to know if you've had any luck. No, it's no good. I've looked everywhere. Sweep's probably miles away by now. Well, you know I don't like blaming anyone, Richard, but um, it is all your fault. You think I don't know that? No sign of Sweep anywhere. Richard, was there any clue in that letter as to where he might have gone? Oh, no. It just says, Dear Richard, I am leaving Sooty Heights forever, and it's all your fault. Love, Sweep. I think that says it all, don't you? P.S. I didn't do it. Oh, I wish I hadn't accused him of stealing those biscuits. <laughs> cheer up, Richard. I wish I could cheer up. Sweep. Sweep! Sweep! Oh, Sweep, we've been so worried about you. Yes, yeah, he has been asking, where have you been? You've been under the table? <laughs> what, all this time? <laughs> It was raining outside and I've been looking for you. I'm soaked. Richard, I think there's something you have to say to Sweep. Yes, that's right. Yes, you're right. Sweep, I am very, very sorry for accusing you of doing something that you didn't do. That's all right. Thank you. Now where's he gone? Biscuit? <laughs> I don't mind if I do, Sweep. <laughs> do you know... You really take the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. bye. bye.